Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Savita. This channel is all about DIYs and furniture painting, mostly Indian style. A customer has placed an order to paint this accent table to be used as an entryway table for the small entrance. After going over my Facebook page, she wanted me to paint the leg part in teal shape and the tabletop as shown in this picture. The picture was a table I have painted sometimes back for my own use. The customer has liked the warm colors red, orange and yellow and decided to go with that. So in today's video, I am going to show you how to bring that effect on this tabletop. This is an antique table with wonderfully carved legs and beautifully beveled tabletop edges. The exceptional carved scalloped aprons adds beauty to this table. The tabletop has some dent on it which has to be fixed before painting. I have used wood filler to cover the dent. Once the wood filler has dried, sand it to a smooth finish. Before I begin painting this table needs deep clean. I use an all purpose cleaner to remove the tough deposits of dust and dirt and later clean by spraying some water. Instead you could use vinegar as some people prefer that over general purpose cleaners. I have started to paint the whole table using Peacock from Waverly. I usually don't stick to any one brand. I like to explore different brands as each one has its own pros and cons. I select the paints depending on the color and purpose. I love this shade of Peacock from Waverly. I spray water over the surface that I am painting every now and then to glide the brush smoothly. First coat does not always look good. It leaves brush strokes which makes the furniture look unfinished. But once we apply the second coat, it will look complete and beautiful. One of the things I like about chalk paints is how fast they dry and you can finish your projects faster. I am using a thinner brush to reach the place where the bristles of the bigger one cannot reach. I have completed giving two coats of paint and allowed it to dry between the coats. Now I am start working on the tabletop. I am using a Fokker Moroccan tile stencil which I bought from Amazon. Moroccan patterns give an exotic look for any furniture. I apply the base coat using maize from Waverly. Using a stencil brush, I apply thin coats of the paint. Move the brush in circular motions. Wipe off any excess paint from the brush to avoid bleeding under the stencil. When you move the stencil, make sure to overlap the edges. Follow the same technique to complete the rest of the tabletop. Since the first coat was thin, the color did not look brilliant. So I have decided to go for the second coat of maize. It is much more brighter after the second coat. Next comes the orange. This is the color Monarch from Focard. Place the stencil right over the pattern. Take small amount of orange and make a spot at the center of each design and spread it evenly using your finger. If it is not spreading smoothly, wet your finger with water. It doesn't need to be perfect. Continue to move the stencil and complete the orange potting. This is little tedious but the final result will be worth the pain.
Now it is time for the red. I am using Imperial from Waverly. I am using a piece of sponge for applying this. Again place a stencil right over the pattern. Spray a little water on the surface only where the stencil is located. Take very little amount of red on the sponge and gently tap on the open pattern of the stencil. Don't take too much of red as it will completely hide the yellow and orange which you want to avoid. There is a chance of paint bleeding under the stencil because of the water that was sprayed. But it can be easily fixed by wiping off immediately before it dries. I have outlined the pattern with peacock blue using a thin brush wherever the paint bleeding was shown. To give a continuity for the warm colors on the top, I have opted to give red on the beveled edges of the table top. The apron of the table has beautiful carvings and I want to highlight that. So I have continued the red shades on the apron. I have sprayed some water and applied a very thin layer of red. Later I have also given a thin layer of gold on the edges of the tabletop and on the apron. This enhances the carvings on the apron and makes it stand out from the legs. Since the legs have beautiful details it has to be highlighted. I am using gold wherever I felt like. The table is almost complete now and just needs a finishing coat. Since the table top is where we place things it needs more protection. It needs a water based polyurethane. I have applied two coats of polyurethane. For the apron and leg I chose to go with black wax. Black wax is applied to give an antique look to the furniture. When using black wax, we have to be very careful. The black wax that I am using is not very intense. It is very mild and easy to apply. But some waxes are very intense on the colors. We can tone down the black wax by applying clear wax. It is always better to test on a small area before applying to the rest of the project. Wherever I felt the wax was moved, I have removed it using a rag. Now it is all done. This table is ready to go to its new home where it will decorate the entrance and give a warm welcoming feel. For more ideas, visit my Facebook page. Please do subscribe and click the bell icon. See the description box for the products I have used. Also leave your comments and likes. Thank you.